Alina and Mark, some of the latest data indicating that the Omicron winter surge may be easing. Nonetheless, LA County public health officials say people should still try to avoid non essential public gatherings because COVID spread is still at some of the highest levels in the pandemic's history. Now, here at this testing site, we spoke to one man who said he couldn't avoid it, he got it. And we spoke to a woman who said she's managed to avoid it, but she still doesn't feel like it's having any less an impact on her life. I had a, a terrible sore throat for like three or four days, uh, fever for a day, but I didn't have the aches and chills and things like that. And may I ask if you're vaccinated and I, boosted? And both, yeah. Do you think that helps? I hope so. I get tested for work all the time, so I have 11 tests in the, this week for each of my jobs. So. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm a freelancer, so I work in Hollywood, so I'm still getting tested all the time. This as new evidence from the CDC finds that boosters are key against Omicron. Finding two doses were 57% effective against COVID hospitalizations, but when you add that third, it increases to 90%. The research also finds people 65 and older with all three of those shots are 90 times less likely to die from COVID than unvaccinated people in that same age group. LA County officials report only around a third of eligible people have received their boosters in LA County. Bigger picture. Some good news when it comes to case numbers. California is seeing some recent declines, but they are still seeing over 100,000 new cases a day, more than twice last winter's peak. In LA County, we're seeing 40,000 some cases a day. Back out here live, uh, when it comes to testing, people here are telling me that they're having an easy time snagging an appointment at this point. And when it comes to vaccines, a new bill introduced by a California lawmaker would make it so that children 12 and older could get a COVID vaccine or any other without their parents' knowledge or consent. So that is, of course, uh, still working its way through the legislature, but could make a difference. And that is the latest live here in Santa Monica. I'll send it back to you. Lauren.